Hey, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel where I want to help you know God and make him known. And this video, I want to talk about something that is super fascinating. It's part of the playlist of creation revealing the glory of God. In Romans 1.20, it says, For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power, and his divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood by what's been made so that we are without excuse. So we can look around at what God's made and we can understand his heart and his character, his attributes more because of creation. So uh, this thing that I want to talk about is snowflakes because it reveals that God speaks and out of his mouth comes beauty. So I, I read about this. We were, I was talking about snowflakes with a friend one time and I ended up reading this researcher who was talking about uh, how he photographed ice crystals. And he decided to do a research project to see how to get different crystals, how to make them look different. So he exposed them to music. And what he found, what he found was super fascinating. And I'll show you a couple examples here. Uh, they you know, tried different ways of exposing the, the crystals to um, sound, but basically they just put it in a bottle and then they just played at a normal frequency, you know, classical, different types of music. And uh, this is what came out. So in the presence, this is what he says, in the presence of transmitted vibrations tuned to audio frequencies, each falling flake takes on a shape and structure that reveals the nature of that sound. So here are two examples of classic tunes playing with their effect during the lab duplication formation of snowflakes. All right, can you see this? So those are um, what was found after they exposed it um, to water. And then they thought, why, or I mean not exposed it to water, exposed it to music. And then they thought, well, let's just try other things. And this, um, I'll not let you see the bottom part here. But these are the different things. Can you see that? There you go. All right. So those are Mozart, Beethoven, Bach, and Dolphins, and how they all came out. Isn't that amazing? Okay. But then they thought, well, let's just do more than music. And they used words, um, things like, thank you, you fool, I will kill you. And that is what they came up with. Um, thank you is like, came out beautiful. Um, you fool, and I will kill you. I mean, it's like it distorted the flakes. How crazy is that, right? And um, I had no idea that sound is what gave snowflakes their form, their beauty. But really, it shouldn't be any surprise because God said long ago, God speaks to the waters and they bring forth life on earth. That's in Genesis 1.20. So it's credible to think that God's voice his word brings life for real, like not hypothetically, like for real. And this life giving um, through his voice, God, that we have, he sings. He is so passionately in love with us and passionate about how he saves us that he sings. Okay, have you ever seen someone who just like bursts into song? You know, kids do this often because they are so passionate about something. Well, think of that passion, shouting type of God singing, all right? In Zephaniah three seventeen, it says, the Lord your God is in your midst, the mighty one who will save. He rejoices over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Wow, right? To think about God singing passionately over you uh, pretty amazing. So I hope uh, when you think about snowflakes, you're amazed at the power of words and how they shape and how God's words specifically shape things and how that same God who speaks beauty sings over you. All right, make sure to like and subscribe, share this video if you're encouraged, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.